The Bible says, And he looked this way and that way. And when he saw that there was no man, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. In this passage, Moses sees an injustice happening to one of his brethren, and he decides to take matters into his own hand, and he slays the Egyptian for seeing what he had done to his brethren. But what did this lead Moses to? This led him to spending 40 years outside of the will of God and to the backside of the desert. Brethren, don't do things the way that you think they should be done. Don't do them after the rudiments of this world, as Colossians 2.8 says. You know, this world says, you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, the world says you have to make your own way in this world. Or as old blue eyes said, I did it my way. Well, the new one is, do you. Brethren, don't do you. Do God. Do what God wants you to do. Don't follow the ways of Egypt like Moses was doing. He spent all that time in Egypt and learned the ways of this world. Don't spend your time in this world learning what the world wants you to do, but try to do and learn what God wants you to do. Jeremiah 17, 5 through 8 says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh his flesh, maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. For he shall be like the heath in the desert, and he shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land, and not inhabited. When Moses followed his own ways, he became as that heath in the desert. He spent those forty years in the backside of the desert, out of the will of God. But when you trust the Lord, as verse 7 in Jeremiah 17 says, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Brother or sister today, if you want to yield fruit, do things God's way and not your own way.